Well, I'm responding to Janet's um, work. She did a video for us uh, of wonderful uh, yoga poses. Um, this is an old yoga book, but there are some poses in here that we're, we'll be able to use. Um, and I'll be showing you how to um, make a figure of wax. I think that it's really quite good to focus. Focusing on yoga, focusing on art, focusing on making. And this is what I've tried to do here. I've combined the idea of a strong movement, a warrior pose. She's made of wire and wax. And um, she is fairly solid. We're not always solid. Uh, but she's, she's standing, she's posing, she's working. You can move her about working on trying to get that pose straight. And so that's um, what this figure is about. I'd like to show you how to make a figure like this. But this is actually constructed um, of wire. Now the wire that I have used is, <laughs> it seems a bit strange, but you can use old flowers. Uh, this is lovely bendy wire. And uh, what I've done is actually used the wire from old Christmas lights. And I, I, it, I managed to cut the flowers off and just, I was playing. And uh, that's the best thing to do is play with the wire. And so I hadn't attached it at this stage. I just had a piece of old wire and um, I manipulated it into this pose and then applied the wax. Now, this is um, brown wax. Um, I've sent off for this, but if you want to collect wax from your cheese, your, your wrappers, um, you can do that. Uh, and it could be red or green or, or white. This is, um, I sent off for this from Flint's, um, which um, supplies art materials. So this is lovely. This is a lovely brown wax um, and it just softens and you can manipulate it. So the first thing um, is that um, you can just get rid of, of the ends. I know it seems a bit harsh, but I've had these flowers a long time and they were outside and they, um, they had their time. And so I think that, um, you know, it's, it's good to recycle, isn't it? And um, so this is what we're doing now. And we might be able to use those these bits for something else, for a painting or, you never know, do you, what you might need them for. So you get it down to as, you know, as small as you can. And the other thing that you can do if you don't want to go through this process is send off for some wire or buy some wire. And this again is from Flint's. And I'll just show you, because this is really lovely and malleable. Uh, such an American aluminium wire and um, you can really bend this around so if you do actually want to spend a bit of money it's not a lot of money but you can really get your your figure this this way as well so um, and, uh, and make your own sculpture as it is at the moment I'm just trying to manipulate um, this into a shape which is it's the slow bend so i'm trying to get this it doesn't have to be exact if you want to um just have a look at a yoga book or the photographs of um, and video of janet um to see um if there's a movement that you're interested in but um i'm just trying to get this is a head um and this is the arm and really just trying to fiddle about and play um, to try and get this movement here. Um, now, with this figure, um, I manipulated it and then it goes on to your base last, um, as you can see. So you don't want to put it on your base to begin with. So you can just manipulate it more um, freely if you, if you can do this. So we've got a head, we've got an arm reaching around and then we've got the leg coming down and this is going to be a foot. Okay, so still winding round, we've got another piece here. Um, some pieces are bulkier than others, so you know, you, you have to 
wind around and what we're trying to do is get a feeling of movement maybe a leg coming round here an arm here and I think what I'm going to do is start applying the clay the um, wax Um, because that will give us a greater form and it will take us away from the idea that these are plastic flowers and stems. You can, if you get blocks of this, of this wax, you can cut things off and then twiddle it round and you get some quite nice pieces. And because you've twiddled it round, it has a greater surface area to adhere to whatever you're adhering it to. Um, and so you can build up more quickly. So I've got the wax and I've just softened it. Maybe in the sun, not for too long, because I think that, you know, it can, it can um, melt too much. And you'll add this on. Now, this is the arm that's going to come over. So let's just concentrate on that for now. Let's just do the arm. Um... And it, it may be thicker than you want. It may be this is going to be a chunkier, chunkier version than this one. This is quite streamlined, um, but, uh, you know, we work in different ways. Quite good for um, arthritic hands, actually, for hands that are not working because it's you need the warmth and you need to just really like squeeze. It's a little bit like squeezing one of those balls that are really good for hands and it's a it is a really lovely medium to to work with 